How's it going everyone? And this video is about how to go over an obstacle in the middle of a turn. So let's say you have a big left hand turn coming through and now you have this right in the middle of the turn. A whole bunch of two by fours or a big piece of rock or a tree branch or a bunch of squirrels or whatever it is. How do you do that? So I just made another video about how to go over an obstacle. So watch that one first to learn the basics. But now in the middle of a turn, it gets a little bit more complicated because we're adding lean angle to it, right? So first, slow down as much as you can before you hit it. That's always number one. Now when you're going through a corner, you're leaning. How much you're leaning depends on how fast you're going for that corner. But either way, you're leaning a little bit. Now the suspension doesn't work too well sideways, right? So right before you hit the obstacle, you want to bring the bike upright as much as possible so the suspension could do its job to go over top of the obstacle and then go right back into the corner because you still have to make it through the turn. So this is where learning how to do bi position comes into play. So you're riding out on the street, so you're not doing much bi position anyway. Right before you hit the obstacle, you could add body position, AKA take away lean angle, get the bike upright to go over top of the two by four or whatever it is, then go right back down into the obstacle. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go through this left hand turn going over top of that a whole bunch of different times. And I'm gonna have the cameraman going four different angles so you could see me going through there. And I'll go at various speeds for each one. Check it out. Right, so going over an obstacle mid corner, you're coming into it, right? Holy crap, there's something right there. So you can so slow down as much as you can. So you have to learn how to use the brakes while leaning, right? So slow down as much as you can and get the bike upright. Once the bike is upright, now you could uh, do the tips which I said in the other video. Come at it perpendicular, stand up if you're able to. If not, that's okay. Either pull in the clutch or keep a steady throttle, but go, let the suspension do its job perpendicular, 90 degrees, straight up and down, go over top of it but then keep on, turn your head again, look right back where you want to go and make it through the corner. So of course, this is a bad situation. I hope this never happens to any of you guys, but the first time you ever go over something in the middle of a turn should not be on the public roads. What's stopping you from getting a piece of two by four like I just did in practicing this? That's what's gonna save your life. All this information is like, okay, good idea. Unless you come out here and actually do something with it, it's not gonna make a difference. So just to let you know, so I wanna, what if there's two obstacles, right? So um, I wanna, Leave that right there, because that's going to be in the middle of a corner. But, but as I finish the corner, there's going to be something else over here that I didn't expect either. So you just have to be able to figure it out, right? It's the same principles. Get the bike upright, come at it 90 degrees. So check this one out. All right, Bryce, so there's, as you saw for that last clip, I, I saw something in the middle of the corner, the two by fours right there, like nailed together, jumped out of the back of somebody's truck. And I was going through the corner all good, but then now there's a piece of brick right there at the exit I wasn't expecting. But you saw in the video, go back and look at it again. I'm going through the corner, then right before I hit it, I added body position, AKA take away lean angle, get the bike upright so the suspension works the best, go over top of it and go right back through it. And again, the first time you ever do something like this should not be out on the twisty mountain roads, whatever else, go practice this stuff. And again, the number one thing to do is avoid it. If you can avoid going around a two by four and a piece of brick out in the twisty roads, whatever you're doing, that's always best case scenario. But sometimes uh, maybe you're distracted, that happens. Maybe there's a car that went over it that was blocking it from your view. Or maybe you just have no time and space to go over, to go around it and you have to go over top of it. But at least now with practice, you have a better idea um, to go over top of those things. Less likely to freak out, less likely to crash. There you go. Thanks for watching.